In this presentation, we're going to see how we can convert a Jupyter notebook into a Mathematica notebook. We're going to do that by uh, downloading or saving the Jupyter notebook as a markdown file. And then this markdown file is going to be converted into a Wolfram language or Mathematica notebook. And then we're going to compare what's going on. All right, so here we have some notebook, uh, it's a uh, Wolfram language uh, kernel Jupyter notebook. We have different elements here. This is about data wrangling. So you might see some data sets. Actually, this is a data set, but in some plain, plain uh, representation, maybe because of the new advances in the type system of the Wolfram language. All right, and then we have some some data sets represented as tables. I'm going to uh, so let's let me make sure it's saved and I'm going to download it as a as a markdown right and then I'm going to uh, move uh, because it's a downloaded you know downloading process it was uh, put in my downloads uh, um, folder so I'm going to move it here and then I'm going to use uh, this uh, uh, command line interface to the markdown to Mathematica Notebooks uh, converter. And uh, I'm going to do uh, standard uh, Wolfram language MD. All right, so this produced the notebook, but it just put it in this um, in the standard output. So let's actually save it into a file. And uh, open open that notebook which was uh, we just obtained. Right. And I'm moving it from my other screen here. Uh, okay, I was going to say this looks like the Jupyter notebook, but there's some there's some embedded embedded uh, uh, images here and that's actually not good. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to is we're going to delete all of the output and then save the notebook and do uh, redo the the steps I was uh, I just showed. So somewhere here we're going to clear everything. Yeah, save it, download it again as a, as a markdown and I'm moving it here then I'm going to make the conversion and then I'm going to open it okay this time it seems yeah it's much cleaner we can browse it and i guess we can also uh, evaluate it and see what is going on some downloading some other effects all right so if we uh here we're going to compare with the uh, jupyter notebook right and it seems that the, there's a correspondence right some elements uh, probably need to be edited manually, you know. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, some 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 additional editing might be required, but basically, yeah, uh, this is it. We have uh, converted the Jupyter notebook into a Mathematica notebook. So this here, it's actually a different, the flow was somewhat more complicated than the what originally I was showing. We had to, we had to do some kind of uh, modifications of the Jupyter notebook in order to, to have a successful export. And I would say this can always be the case in one way or the other. I mean, it doesn't matter is it the Wolfram language. It can happen or it happens actually with also using Python or R or uh, whatever other uh, systems. All right. Thank you. Bye.